Today, I would like to address the other major doctrine which characterizes our faith but which causes concern to some, namely the bold assertion that God continues to speak His Word and to reveal His truth, revelations which mandate an open canon of Scripture. Some Christians, in large measure because of their genuine love for the Bible, have declared that there can be no more authorized Scripture beyond the Bible. The Old Testament does not lose its value in our eyes when we're introduced to the New Testament. And the New Testament is only enhanced when we read the Book of Mormon, another testament of Jesus Christ. Continuing revelation does not demean nor discredit existing revelation. The Bible is the Word of God. It is always identified first in our canon, our standard works. Indeed, it was a divinely ordained encounter with the fifth verse of the first chapter of the book of James that led Joseph Smith to his vision of the Father and the Son, which in turn gave birth to the restoration of the gospel of Jesus Christ in our time. I testify that the heavens are open. I testify that the presence of such authorized prophetic voices and ongoing canonized revelations have been at the heart of the Christian message whenever the authorized ministry of Christ has been on the earth. In our heartfelt devotion to Jesus of Nazareth as the very Son of God, the Savior of the world, we invite all to examine what we have received of Him to join with us, drinking deeply at the well of water, springing up into everlasting life. These constantly flowing reminders that God lives, that He loves us, and that He speaks. I express the deepest personal thanks that His works never end and His words never cease. I bear witness of such divine loving attention and of the recording of it in the sacred name of Jesus Christ, amen.